so once again welcome back to another three minutes thursday and today we're going to see how to change your phone's stock old look to something interesting to watch and use so this is a very basic video tutorial so if you're a pro at this stuff you're really free to skip to the very end i'll put a timestamp to skip to in the description getting to the point every time i go to my friends family or relatives to some functions or somewhere these are the questions i face Whoa, that's a cool phone you got there. Amazing, how did you do that? Is that a Redmi phone? I have the same one here. How to make it look like yours? Is it some options that I have to change in the settings? So guys, it's not that easy as that. Going into the settings and changing some options can't get you to this amazing look. But it's not that hard as well. If you have some minutes to spare, we can make a unique setup for you with all your taste preferences. So this is getting long. Why don't we roll the intro and get into the video? So I can't be sure about the 3 minutes timer for today. As you are dealing with the basics, I have made this video to 5 different sections which you can follow along to get to this amazing look. Oh wait, let's run the timer. So going to the very basics, the first thing to get started is the launcher. So if you don't know what a launcher is, it's the phone itself. It's the face of the phone, all these icons you're interacting with, the dock, all app pages, all this comes with the launcher. So the first thing to get into customization is changing your launcher. There are tons of launchers out there in the Play Store for free. For the full features, I recommend using the paid version of the launcher which you think you love to use. In person, I have used almost every launcher out there in the Play Store. And I can't suggest anything better than other because there are several ones out there which are equally amazing. So for this tutorial, I'm using the Microsoft launcher which I consider the best for this specific look that we are planning to achieve. If you don't have any personal suggestions for launchers or if you're completely new to this, you're free to copy exactly what I'm doing to create your first customized Android setup. Download the Microsoft Launcher from the Play Store and open the app. The app itself guides you in setting it up for the first time. Don't forget to make the launcher the default launcher. To do this, it's pretty much simple. When pressing home button, you'll be prompted which app to be used. Check always use this app and tap Microsoft Launcher. Now every time you look your phone, it'll be the Microsoft Launcher as the basic home launcher. The second thing we're going to change is the look of the icons. The Microsoft Launcher has a very bad icon design, so we're forced to change this for making the setup look cool. Changing this is also pretty simple, go to the Play Store and search for icon packs. You can see a tons of them for free. For this setup, I'm using Pixel Icon Pack, which is one of the best rated free icon packs available in the Play Store. After installing, you need to tap and hold on your home screen and go to the launcher settings, and then to personalization and the icon pack section. There you can find all the icon packs installed on your phone. For this case, we can see the pixel icon pack here as well. Select this and the launcher will automatically change icons using the pixel icon pack and give that fabulous icons in your home screen. After you have done pretty much all this, the next one is to set up a stunning wallpaper. You will be free to set any wallpaper according to your liking. But in this case, taking this to a step forward, I am setting a live wallpaper. For those who don't know what a live wallpaper is, it's a wallpaper which has emotion in it and also it responds to your actions with it. In my case, this wallpaper moves when we move the phone and also responds to my touches. To set this up, it's simple. Once again, go to the Play Store and search for Centaled and download it. Open the app, tap Open button there and then tap Set as Wallpaper. Pretty much simple as that. Also, there are several options within the app you can adjust according to your liking. Going on to the main important and a bit complex step of this whole video, it's setting up widgets. If you don't know what a widget is, it's pretty much this. And to set up widgets like this, you need the help of an app. It's called KWGT or you can use Super Widgets. But to make this easy, let's stay with KWGT. I'll make this simple. It's like editing a photo. For editing a photo, you need two things. A software or an app for editing and secondly, the photo itself. KWGT here plays the role of the software. You need the premium version of KWGT which I'm giving away for free to my subscribers. So don't forget to check the link in the description below. Just install and keep it for now. So you would be wondering, we got the editing software, but still we don't have the photo. 
The next thing is to get these photos or in the real case these amazing widgets. Then we need to edit this using the KWGT and place it on our phone's screen. Don't get confused, it's not all hard as it sounds like. It's just a few clicks process. To get these widgets or as our example, these photos, you need to install another app which provides us a tons of amazing pre-designed widgets. Of course, you can make your own widgets but it's so complex to deal in this video. So in my case, I'm installing an app called Magic for KWGT. Now to set this up, it's simple. Go to the home screen, tap and hold and select widgets. And in the list that appears, select one cross one KWGT widget. Click and hold to place it on your screen. You can resize it to your desired size. Now tap on the widget that will take you to a new screen. Now it will open up the KWGT app itself. And in the KWGT app, you can see all the widgets saved automatically from the magic app we installed. Select anything for your liking and press save. And that's it. You got your stunning widget on your screen. My taste may not be the same for you. Always feel free to experiment on all these and make amazing setup, giving your phone always a fresh, standing out look according to your taste. I think I broke the 3 minutes timer, but I hope this was helpful for you guys. So that's it guys, the basic tutorial on how to customize your Android smartphone. Hope you liked it. If so, please do share this video with your friends and family. Also, thanks for watching. Please do like the video and also subscribe if you're new here. Also, click the bell button to get to us every time we upload a video. Comment down your suggestions and also things you would like to suggest to us for the next week's episode. We're always here and replying you. Going on to the giveaway section, the last week's winner was Latesh. Congrats and we successfully handed over his prize. This week, we are giving away 10 customization apps for Android customization. So to participate, subscribe to Neville Studios, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, comment down your Twitter and Instagram ID under this video. So that's it guys for this 3 minutes Thursday. Lots of love, it's me Neville, you're watching this on Neville Studios. Signing out, peace.